everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back. Um, got a new journal to share with you guys today. This is a design team for Seneca Pond Crafts, and the kit is called Victorian Holiday Mini, uh, Mini Book Journal Kit. Uh, there's a couple of kits that have been uh, used in this, and I will put those in the description below because I did use a few other things from Seneca Pond, but other than that, everything else in here, um, there's not been any scrapbook papers added to the kit. It's just been, uh, these were tea dyed. Um, so we'll get started. This is a one signature fabric covered um, journal and it measures six by eight and a half. And I've hand sewn the signature in. A lot of mach machine stitching, lots of layering. I think I've ended up with three. Well, I had fabric and then I covered it with three additional um, laces. Some are vintage, but then the one is, is a fairly new um, lace. So the cover is um, one of the images. And I've just doubled that up, did some stitching attach this little um, metal embellishment and some more lace to it. I thought that was really pretty. I love the colors of this kit. They're chocolate and mint green. Um, and I'm, I hope that that shows up in the photos. Uh, I'm not too sure because obviously with this having been printed on coffee dyed, you know, they're, the colors are more subtle, but it is absolutely gorgeous. You're, you you won't be disappointed. It is a fantastic kit. I uh, love this. Um, now, this was some different papers um, that I used. That is not part of the kit, but I think it's going to be in an upcoming kit that, sh that uh, Eileen's got. But this is part of the kit back here. I made a pocket, did... Um, attached a little um, pin there and then just added some other little um, embellishments. Now this was part of the kit, these little journaling cards, but these <clears throat> were some additional um, images that uh, Eileen sent me so I'll have to share those with you in the in the link below. But this is just beautiful. I love it. It's um, very Victorian. The colors are just so beautiful. I've attached um, some lace along the, the papers, um, got some doilies, and then this is um, one of the little envelopes and tags that's included in the kit. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And then this was just some extra paper I went ahead and cut up into some tags. Um, and this little pocket is included. I love that combination because um, I'm very much traditional green and red, but I I really do love this. It's very Victorian. Um, here I've done a little tuck spot, added a, a pearl embellishment, and then this is um, one of the mason jar tags um, that's in Eileen's shop. So you can purchase that. That gives you four um, of the tags. Beautiful. Little glassine bag with another journaling card. And then I just did a little flip tag there. This is one of the pages. Some more lace. I printed out on some vellum one of the images. This is one of the book pages. Um, and I just printed that out on vellum. I love that addition to the journal. And here is another one of the little, isn't that beautiful, the little teacup tag and envelope. And then this is another um, tag set that Eileen's got in her shop. I'll share that. I believe it's Victorian Children. I believe that's what the name of that is. But like I said, they'll, I'll put the links below. Um, here I've just made a little... Um, tuck spot with this. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. I, I ran across these um, this weekend in one of my car booting outings, so I'm really happy with those. They went beautifully with this, so I've just attached that. And then here's some more um, 
tags, journaling cards, and then I just made another journal card out of that image because it was left over. I love it. It's got such an old feel to it. And here's just a old <coughs> bag, you know, one of those newsprint bags I've just put in for a pocket. Love this image of this little girl. Just beautiful. Some more uh, vintage trim. This was some coffee dyed paper, and I just went ahead and put it through. I can't believe my picker, printer picked it up. I'm really having issues. If anybody's got any tips, my printer is an Epson HP. Um, yeah, sorry, HP um, printer I've just recently bought, and it was picking up the coffee and tea dyed papers fine, um, but this last couple of batches I cannot seem to get it to run through which is presenting a huge problem as you can imagine. Um, so if you've got any tips on what needs doing to maybe get that to pick those up again I'd appreciate it because I have pressed. I've ironed all of my papers so I don't know really uh, I hate to think about having to buy another printer but um, this, it did end up taking this one through, which was fantastic. It's given it a really interesting pattern uh, with the printed on top of that coffee dyed. And here I've just made another little pocket with some more tags. I love that image with the girls looking up for the chimney for Santa. And these are part of the kit, and I've just went through and cut those out and just attached them. And here we go with another pocket. This is part of the kit. Love that. And there's another journaling, a couple of uh, tags. And then this is just another one of the words. I just tucked that in. Um, center of the signature, I've attached some little jingle bells to that. Love that image with the, the deer. And here got a couple more little tags. Love these. These would be really cute just to attach a little eyelet and make um, Christmas tags out of for your gifts this year. So there's a lot of uses for this journal kit. Um, you know, you could use it in, in a lot of other ways if you didn't want to make a journal with it. Uh-oh, looks like I've got a glue issue here. Doesn't it always happen when you're on camera? I've been through this, I don't know how many times, and uh, I'll get something, get that little bit of glue off. And this is some more of the images. Love that. A lot of writing space. I thought this would be, you know, really nice for a, a December daily. Um, I'm trying to get... Oh, started earlier because I know it's going to take a bit longer to get things shipped out and I, I wanted to have this journal done so that um, if anybody did want to purchase it um, they'd get it in time to start using it before the holiday season. I'm not going to do many Christmas journals I'll be honest. I, um, I got some other projects lined up so this is this could very well be my only Christmas journal. I don't know. But I'm really glad to have gotten the chance to use this, and I love, I absolutely love the colors of it. I think I will be making some little um, tags out of those for our gifts this year. Some more writing space. Um, oh, this is another of the pages. Love that. That's, a, that's the vellum. And then here I've just made a little. Um, paper clip and this is another one of the um, tags with the envelope. I love that. Beautiful. And then this is a journaling card. I'll stick those in later. We know that that doesn't work on camera. <laughs> so here I've got another couple of tags I've made. Another of the journaling cards and then this is another of the words from the kit. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Um, I, uh, I've taken a few days. I had some appointments I needed to, to see to last week, so I've kind of had almost a week off, and I really missed it. But it's much needed. I think sometimes you have to 
have a bit of time for yourself and other, you know, just life. Uh, but I did manage to get in a fantastic walk yesterday, and uh, it was kind of funny. We'd been looking, we're new to the area, and we'd been looking around for a, a beautiful walk to do. And, you know, you go online, and this site rated this as an easy to moderate walk. And, oh, my goodness, either I'm in extremely bad shape or they are just, like, Olympic athletes because it was pretty much mountain climbing. I, I just, it was, it was rough. <laughs> I'm surprised I was even able to get out of the bed this morning, but it was so nice to be outside. Beautiful weather. Um, it was just really enjoyable. I, I needed that. I'm going to have to make that a priority. Um, I've just been so focused on other things for the last six months, and I really have got to start taking some time off and, and doing some enjoyable things. Uh, life's just whizzing by. But this is the back of it, and... I just created another double pocket there. Um, lots of little tags for you to do journaling. And uh, I just love it. I love that. Really pleased uh, with how it's come out. Nice way to use up some of my laces. And just love the colors of this. I think it's just a beautiful kit. Um, but like I said, I don't know how many chances I'm going to get. I, I think I may have time to do one more. Um, I'll show you really quickly my plans for my next. If I get time to do anything, I bought this book and I love the cover. Absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to see if I can, I don't know, if I'm going to try to save the spine on this, or if I'm going to build a completely new spine. But, fingers crossed, this will probably be the only other um, Christmas journal I, I try to, to squeeze in. But I just don't know, I'll be honest, if I'm going to have time or not. But I love that. That was at a car boot. A really, um, these are nice little books, actually. It, it's... Um, I love flipping through them and seeing. I don't know what age this would have been aimed towards, but they're really great little books, and I don't know why we don't have more of this kind of thing now, because it's got so much. It's so varied for the kids to flip through. There's even a place of, somewhere in here, there's a place where they got some crossword puzzles, I just think these are so awesome. I don't know why they don't still do things like this for children, but I don't know. Anyways, love that. I uh, might get around to that, but we'll see. We'll see how the time works out. But if you're interested in this journal, I'll leave the link to my shop below. But um, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I appreciate everybody who has... Uh, recently joined and, and for those of you who are still hanging in with me I really do appreciate the support and I hope I can be back very soon with something inspiring so you guys have a good rest of the week and I will see you very soon bye